And I better find your love. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Uh, so Josh was saying an intro song. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's, that's <laughs> me singing my intro song. My daughter right, cool. for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Top Five on the People's Podcast. This evening, we have our three recurring legendary panelists who are like, you know what I'm saying, become family. Uh, we're going to start with, Sister Khadija, can you say what's up to everybody this evening? Peace, family. So glad to be here again. Okay, boom. And she's with, I'm saying, who's on the screen with you so we can make sure that we don't Oh, you? and Allah is here with us. Okay, uh, okay, good. Hold it down. <laughs> the quietest babies we've ever seen. Like, it's like, you, don't even talk. <laughs> like, you wouldn't even know they were there. All right, uh, Sister, uh, Sister Mariah, can you please say what's up to everybody? I like um I like being called legendary. Yes, yes, absolutely. Well, it's too loud, yeah. All right, and Marvin, can you please say what's up to everybody, bro? Peace, love, blessings, and protections to everybody out there. Yes, Lord. Yes. Now, Marvin, uh, also last time because you weren't here, Sister uh, Rakia did your um did a word for you, bro, at, at the end of it. Like you know, what I'm saying because you wasn't here to hold it down. So <laughs> no, I, I gotta go watch it because I'm sure yeah, she was yeah. she was powerful. Her her word, I'm sure, was powerful. Okay, good. All right, good. Mimi says, peace, family, peace. Okay, everybody who's watching, we're getting straight into it. Top five sophomore albums that lived up to the hype because, you know, there's a thing where, you know, people who are one album wonders, one hit wonders, and everybody, everybody's sophomore album don't hit the same way. All right, let's go. I got so many. It was so many I could have did on this list, but no times. I was like, whatever, we're going to run with it. It's going to be random. But let's go. Sister so Khadija, what you got? Number five. Oh, this, yeah, this was real. This was hard. Um... You said no ties, you sure, Brother Johnson? Yes, sir. Yes, it's the kitty. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just going to go with TLC then. I hope we can do our, like, mentions later. I'm going to yes, go with yes, TLC, no, Crazy Sexy Cool. That's the they, good um, They definitely, like, hit the scene and had everybody, like, whoa, you know, they was coming with something different, and then everybody didn't know if they was going to last because they was kind of weird and different and odd, and then they was like, oh, okay, they're going to be here for a minute. They did their thing. You can play okay, that album boom. nonstop, you know, straight through. Crazy, crazy, sexy, cool. Now, this crazy, sexy, cool album TLC is this like the Diana Ross and Supreme? What what era is this era? Like, when did this come out? Don't do that. Really, they really, really, but Joshua. Well, I just want to be clear what time period it came out. It came okay. out when it came out. You go ahead and Google it. Like you Google can it. Google okay. It. Uh, Naima says peace family so the candidates stepping in uh, Naima says that's a good one Sister Khadija that's her favorite um, TLC album yes um, Sister Candice I don't know why I can't see your comments now it's like I guess whatever phone you're using or your what's it called it don't be coming up see how they uh, always coming on somebody else it must be you it, it is I'm saying y'all tell me if y'all can see Sister Candice um, uh, comments in the thing because it don't I can be coming always up. See her. you see him you can see him right now what did you see you see what she said just now I can't see it. I like it, but I can't see it. She gave the greeting. Oh, okay, well, it's long. I don't see it. I'm telling you. Okay, all right. So I'll show you on my screen, whatever. Oh, look who it is. Somebody's driving to work, but came in because Marv is on the day. Boom, <laughs> Salima holding it down. Wow. Don't even play with me, I was on last time. Don't play with me. I'm trying to be loyal right now. I'm trying to be, you know, keep my work. That's what I'm doing That's right, right now. That's right, sis. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Nah, I, didn't, off, I, didn't, nah. I didn't even mention your name, Salima, in the thing because I didn't know if you were really gonna come through or not. All right, boom, Marvin. What's your um uh, uh number five? What you got? Sophomore albums that that lived up to the hype. J Cole. Mm, mm, mm. And the fact that he is at number five just tells you this list was. It's, it better be on fleek. <laughs> And look, it, it's on fleek. I know it's, it's gonna be some surprises for some people, but I think I think y'all understand what I explain later. Okay, good, good. This is Candace once again. I'm trying to reply to Candace. All right, and thank everybody um, for watching and showing my love. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. All right, uh, Sister Mariah, what you got? Number five. My number five. First of all, let me just say this is my list. I don't care what you think about my list. Is it Joe? But is it Joe? That's why I is see my hero. That's it's, right. not, it's, it's not Joe. Joe. <laughs> it's, it's not Joe, but I know that our music taste is a little different. I like CDs. Well, you know, y'all don't even do CDs now, yeah. but I like music where 
I can listen to their album and not hit skip. So that's what's on my list. I'm not okay. Song. So my number five is Adele 21. That's a good one. That's a great one. That's not a okay. show. What you mean? You may right. like, yeah. like that's underground or something. Like you said it. No, now. I just I just feel like I gotta come out the gate with what I said what I said. Uh, um, that's a, that's a, that's a, real I don't hear, hear you do. I don't hear you do gotta do that. <laughs> what does that mean? Like nobody has to do that. Like, okay, here we go. That's I, a good I, I agree. So I'm judging what y'all say. <laughs> but y'all talk about no skip. We'll see what y'all I'm not hauling. skipping on. All right. All right. So Lima, what you got? Number five. Um, I have this one strictly because, but anyway, it's Nicki Minaj, Roman Revenge. No, Roman Reload. That's what it is called, Roman Reload. Yeah. Just because you know, it, jo- you know Josh agree really... with that. Look, you, you know, know Josh agree with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Look, about. I love Nicki, Nicki around that time. Marvin so. sexist. Marvin hates Nicki Minaj. That's what the boys said. No, you, actually, you don't like Nicki, Nicki Minaj? Minaj. No, I, I love I I love Nicki Minaj. I think okay. I think she'd go still. I think she'd go still. All right, period. Okay, that's all I love. All right, cool. We cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Naima says yes, Adele twenty one is a classic. Mimi says that's a great one. Sister Mariah, I think Sister Candace has me blocked on what's it called? Because yeah, can y'all tell what Sister Candace said in the comments? Because I can you're her. right. It is you. Okay, you're right. It's me. Okay, boom. Okay, <laughs> okay. I don't know how she's. What is she? She got to be writing on something new now. But all right. Uh, and. Mimi says Josh is a barb. I'm not a barb because I like Nicki Minaj. Like I just like him. Like I support our sister. You're I thought y'all love the barb. Isn't the women's in, international women's movement? Did he like, say I support our sister? I support our sister. <laughs> <laughs> you mad? Uh-huh. I support your sisters? I've been supporting Nicki Minaj since her mixtape days. I love well, our not sister. Not at all. I'm not mad at you, brother Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my number five is real random. But I, because I wanted to be unique, I didn't want to just pick this, the typical ones. But I'm going with T Pain, a Tiffany. I mean, Epiphany. T Pain, okay. second okay. album had Buy yes. You a Dream. It had, yes, uh, yes. Uh, Arthur, all of those songs. And everybody thought that he was just going to be in love with a stripper like that. Like the first one was like a hit, of, like it was just out the way. But he came, his second album had Buy You a Dream. Like, like that's the first one that was like a hit. Like, like it was just out the way. But he came, his second album hit. Hey, look, that one, that one, yes. Low yes. key, I thought about T Pain, but I didn't remember that Epiphany was the second album, and I love that. that album. I that love was, that. That's, that one hit. No, that's just about no skips. No skips. Listen, I'm telling y'all, uh, yeah, Sister that. Mariah, I know this is not the same as like, you know, the um, uh, what, um, Diana Ross, <laughs> Diana Ross era, but I'm telling y'all, baby girl, what's your name? It's all no, it's it's all about about the I'm telling you, the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Do not sleep. The only thing that's missing is you cradling the microphone. It's <laughs> right. You know, I don't know why you must be so good. Um, Naima says Chris Brown exclusive with with uh you take you and take you down in there. Absolutely. Maybe uh, you already know that's on my list. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know why people don't get whatever, but all right, let's go. Number four. Uh since Khadija, what you got? Number four, I have. My screen went away. Okay. Number four, I have Jay-Z in my lifetime, volume one. Classic. Okay, okay. Classic. <laughs> okay. I wasn't like, oh, wow. She was a Jay-Z. <laughs> what'd you say, what'd you say, Mother Joshua? I wasn't expecting you to, to hit us with the volume one. That's a that's a good that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. It like for me, this was like, you know, you heard an artist they first came out, but that second one is like, all right, are they really like they're gonna be here for a minute? Is that all they got? Is this, you know? And Hope did it on that job. So you saying you saying cough up a lung where I'm from? I'm from Marcy, son. Is that ain't nothing nice? <laughs> that's, what saying? That's, what, that's what we're going with. That's, you can't go you can't go wrong with uh Jay-Z volume one. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Um Marvin, what you got? Number four. Number four, I got Jeezy. Can't go wrong with Jeezy. People sleeping on people. Oh, his- his first three albums was flames, no skips. His first hey, three albums. Can't go wrong with Jeezy. I didn't think about Jeezy. I thought about Ti, but I didn't think about Jeezy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Marvin came. Marvin came through. I came with the okay. fuego today. Y'all better stop <laughs> something, baby. Okay. Okay. I, but I still don't know how that's before. I mean, like after J Cole, like what? Number four. Oh, J Cole. Anyway. 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 Also, y'all, last time I did this Rakia, at the end of it, I'm going to let everybody shout out their, their, their business pages or their Instagram, whatever y'all want to promote. At the end, let me know because uh, Salima was upset that I didn't let her promote her business at the end of her thing. Or <laughs> 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 I'm going to 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna let everybody be, at the end of the business. I'm gonna sure at the end of the show, I'll let everybody you know say it. Um, Naima, Naima, we're not number three yet. Naima said number four, my way. I'm Usher, my way. You can't go wrong with the Usher number four, number four. That's a good one. I'm coming to get number three when we get to number three. All right, number four. What you got, Susan Mariah? I forgot with number five, just as a shout out to my best friends with their Kia. I did get the date, the, the years that these came out because I know she's big on dates. So Adele was 2011. But in 1996, which I know Brother Joshua probably don't know nothing about, Aaliyah <laughs> hit us with one in a million. And I feel like it's still a classic. Yes. I love yes. that one. Don't, do that. Don't, do, don't do all that. Don't do that. Just Aaliyah. That's it. That's the post. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, but, but I'm, I'm, I just want to be y'all. When I ask you questions, I'm just trying to get clarity. So you're no, saying you're trying to I'm, hate? No, I'm not trying to hate. I'm saying, baby, you don't know what you do to me. I mean, what we talking uh, about? Uh, <laughs> come on, sing it. Come on. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Aaliyah. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, Salima, what you got? Number four. Number four? Who did I have as my number four? Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Crashing, on a moment, though. Oh, okay. 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 No, 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 no. It's Chance to buy for the coloring book, you know? Yeah. I thought about that. That's a good yes, one. Yes. You that's already good. know. Mm-hmm. All day, Chance to buy first. Yeah, that's a good I one. Did, hey, I just looked at that track list uh, for one in a million. I mean, it's pretty fire, but it's a few skips in there, too. I don't remember no skips. No, he did not. No, he's not. Skips. Well, skips. Well, no, 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 um, okay, hey, that's you. not okay. You better stop. <laughs> Mimi, Mimi said I'm just talking. <laughs> Mimi said that's a good one, Mimi said that's low because she's my usher's biggest fan, of course. All right. Um, phone some Mariah. Salima, what you got? Number four. I just told you my number four. Okay, okay. I was all in the comments. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have that uh, for that number four. Just for that, you're gonna be giving me two <laughs> at the end of it. All right, my number four is Beyonce B Day. Y'all know my wife is Why gonna be on the list. I know was Y'all know she was gonna be on the list. Everybody right. thought she was gonna fall off of that first album. No, and I was came, gonna do it. I was gonna do it. But I said, Josh she, is she gonna said, do it. Yeah, no, she came back just to remind y'all if y'all thought it was sweet. The album is behind me. My favorite, <laughs> my second favorite Beyonce album. So B Day, don't sleep. She came back and killed. Killed everybody. She was like, I'm gonna hit y'all with the freaking dress. I'm gonna hit y'all with the um clap uh patch your weave, like all, all that of that. All of that. Went hard, that yes, yeah. it was almost all right. on my list. Now, number three, Naima said number three. Uh she got B2, B2K pandemonium. Naima's not gonna miss the opportunity to put B2K on, her, <laughs> on the list. Uh, all right, number three, what you got, Sister Khadija? Um, number three, I got this one that's gonna like uh get Marvin in a ruffle again, but Alea. One in a million. Oh, you guys. <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am. Period. Bring it back. Bring it back. I didn't, know, I, didn't know, I didn't know y'all were such a real fan. I'm, I'm just know. saying, y'all, y'all went hard on the criteria. Make sure there's no skips. I mean, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm saying I would have skipped a few. I'm not skipping it. Like, I'm playing that whole thing. All yeah, the way to the end. Because you always busy. That's you got that. kids. You feel me? You got that's why. Okay, um, I even said B Day is fire. Okay, perfect. Boom, let's go. Marvin, what you got? Number three, number three, just gonna ruffle some feathers, but I got state prop volume two. I don't even know what state prop volume one is, <laughs> but okay. I tell you what, state prop volume two that was like that was when the rock was was like. They was deep. They, they had everybody, whoever you could name, and okay. like now, now, Marvin. This is this is the champ. Champions is on volume two. No, not champion. This is once again this song. Remember, remember once again this song with uh, I, I can't say it's a lot of cuss words. So yeah, yeah, with, with Benny Siegel on it. With yeah, Siegel. with Benny Siegel. It's that album. That okay, album. Okay, okay. That whole album is flame. But, it's, but, but I mean, I'm saying, I, you, so you saying you saying champions not on volume two is on volume one. The one with we are the champions. Yeah. No, I, don't th- I think that's on, on the the Rockefeller album though, not oh, State Prop. Oh damn, damn. Okay, okay. How many? Well, how many does State Prop have? <laughs> <laughs> I know they got two. I know there's two. Walking up in the streets of Jersey and stuff. 
two two volumes for sure. I know that. So you said at least two, at least two of them bad boys. Uh, Mimi said now, brother Marvin. Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I That's said I know. That's a good I knew I was gonna ruffle some feathers, but <laughs> hip hop is no hip hop okay. is no. I'm... All right, all right. But I can't say that. Um, so this is Mariah, what you got? Number three. My number three is from 2002. Is absolutely no skip ever. Music soul child, just listen. <laughs> I mean, it's I okay. Y'all, y'all just pick. Y'all just picking albums that's behind me at this point now. I mean, what's going on? I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> listen, you can't go wrong with music soul child. You can't. I'm talking about his first four albums. You can't go wrong. Everything. Man. Everything. You can't go wrong. That's a good one. I ain't think about music soul child. That's a good. One. That's because he always like, thinking about Philly. real music all the time. He's from Philly, so I give him a pass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Uh, Salima doesn't know who Music Soul Child is. Arba, Salima, what you got for number uh, number three? Where, uh, number three, I have um, J. Cole Born Center. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got to put that one. Oh, yeah. I went to that concert. It was lit. So, yes, I, I wanted to. Look, it was, it was dope. So, you can't. You I listen to every song on that one since I'm playing. So, so, so you saying you saying Cricket Smile? Uh, That's not on there. On Born Center, it's at, Cricket Smile yeah. is absolutely on Born Center. Is it Born yeah. Center? Yeah, Cricket, Cricket Smile is okay. Okay, absolutely it is. You are you okay? okay that okay, and New York Times with Fifty Cent. Like I know what I know, bro. Like, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My bad. <laughs> okay, that's did- nice. sorry. sorry. So Mar- <laughs> Marvin and Salim are J Cole's biggest fans. That, I get it. <laughs> Nah, I, I've it. been disappointed with him for like three, four albums now. Whoa, oh, yeah, well, now whoa, pretty, yeah, whoa, 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 there. Uh, hey, K-L-D? Every, K-L-D? Every K-L-D? since Sports I Hill, every song on that one. It's because Sports Hill drives was so fire. He can't, it's nothing he could do after that. It's nothing he could do after that. Speaking of another talk. album that's behind me. I'm, I'm not going to have this discussion about that. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey said that's a great uh, album. Naeem said Josh is music so child, biggest fan. You know, not, and she also says I'm his only fan sometimes or whatever. I like I, I'm a music soul child fan. Nobody shows him love. Like I think he gets zero credit, whatever. But it's all good. Aisha says, "Hey, fam. Aisha, where you? I mean, well, Aisha's at a baseball game showing love to her son. Shout out to Captain Ty, uh, holding it down in Chicago at the baseball game. Like, Aisha's always like, you know, she's she's like Sister Khadija, involved Mama with the, all the games and always doing something. So you know how it go. All right, let's get into it. Um, number three, my number three is Drake. Take care. What are we talking about? What we talking about? Y'all talking about a sophomore album? Everybody thought that Drake was just like going to be this one album. One. This before it was a 10 year reign yeah. of supremacy. Okay, people, okay. people didn't know that Drake was going to be who he was, bro. That's All right, let's go. Bad. Number two sophomore albums. Look at, listen to Khadija's like, I like DMX. He don't like Drake, so I don't like Drake. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. We both genuinely didn't like Drake. I'm <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? So Khadija, oh, I know you. Oh, and he you. didn't like him either. I had no idea. No you know, idea. You know, <laughs> he said had no influence on me at all. <laughs> so Khadija, what you got for number two? For number two, I have, oh, of course, late registration. Yeezy. Okay, okay, look at you. Okay. Y'all oh, just picking my wall. Thank Y'all you. are literally picking my wall today. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I know that's a, a approval with. Uh, <laughs> I said I oh, know that's an approval. So, 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 so next, Sister Khadija, if you want to win the whole thing, tell me in sync. Uh, no trees and sashes, you're number two, and you won. Yes, if you got in sync on that, no trees and sashes. Never. Never. Oh, he's such a hater. All right. <laughs> um. Uh, Andrea R. Hall says she loves you. Uh, Mariah Shabazz and she sees you. Okay, shout out to Andrea Hall. And then um, Naima says, Brandy, never say never. Of course, Naima loves Brandy. Can't That's get never one. say never. Still a good one, though. <laughs> Naima, you mean the boy is mine, the boy is mine, the boy is mine. That's all I used to hear when Naima was growing up. The boy is mine, the boy is mine. Always playing uh, Brandy album. <laughs> that's, that's on that one too before, before Salima tries to jump in and try to correct somebody about something she's another album she doesn't know Marvin what you got for number two wow okay <laughs> uh, for number two I got the great Kanye West it, it would have it been the greatest uh, sophomore album of all the time but my number one beat it out in an extraordinary fashion and I, you know that's hard for me to say that's really hard all right well I'm, I'm gonna let y'all slide because my number one is the greatest sophomore album of all time for the record but i'll let y'all let, i'm gonna let everybody's uh <laughs> let it everybody, everybody choose sister mariah um uh, number two sophomore album that lived up to the hype 
Somebody already said it, but in 94, we got Crazy Sexy Cool. Okay, so you That's so Mariah, are you saying that 1994, when you turned on the radio, you was like, I was like these in the cool on a Sunday afternoon. What y'all know about that? Yeah, okay, boom. Listen, you could play their stuff now yeah, and not get anything. Singing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you mad because I'm in the singing mood? <laughs> only when you know anyway I'm <laughs> all right troy troy Middleton. so i was making like slime sir i know I, I butchered your name medallion troy medallion I, i'm sorry for butchering your name sir but we're doing sophomore albums that lived up to the hype thank everybody who tuned in aisha said late registration was number one for sure and the name was laughing all right salima what you got number two you know it broke my heart to put him at number two but it's Chris Brown exclusive, you know. Yeah. You know, that one's a non-skip. You, look, they're saying. Okay, now you're saying Chris Brown number two, but you're supposed to be his biggest fan. We'll see. We'll, your number one better be better be uh perfect as much as you as much as you reference Chris <laughs> Brown. It is, it is. That's the thing. So it hurt me. It really did. Like I'm talking about I was depressed for about five minutes. Okay. But I, I'm better now. I'm glad you better. <laughs> Aisha says diary of a mad band. She would slide Joe to see. In, in any conversation, you know what I'm saying, no matter what happens. And I think that's the same time period as TLC, so don't talk, just listen. All right, here we go. It's ours for everybody who wants to hear Joe to see, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. My number two, Michael Jackson. We're talking about four albums, complete albums. Thriller, Off the Wall was his first uh, solo complete album. Yeah. And, then, and Thriller was the second one. What are we talking about? Like, who would ever yeah. thought that? Michael Jackson, the lead singer to Jackson Five, would, 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 would go it just go solo and just start killing everything. I yeah. didn't, you know. Yeah. So shout out to Michael Jackson, uh, Thriller. All right, number one. Let's see these top five albums of all time, and I, I want to see what everybody got. Number one. What do you have, Sister Khadija? Y'all really need me to, you know, tell you. <laughs> I'm hollering. <laughs> Y'all know who number one is, Ballhead. I already know. Boys, no t-shirt ever, right? Stop playing. <laughs> right? You start off in the ground. That's when everybody go crazy in the ground. Flash your body, flash. Oh my God. Flash of my flesh. Oh, my X showed the world that he wasn't going, like he was there. Like we was like, first I was like, I who this boy? Like, oh. <laughs> now nah, for real. Like, okay. hey, 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 it was so good. You had to think, is this man a goat already? Wait. Yes. I'm, tri I'm tripping. I'm tripping. And then you just talking stuff out of it. I'm tripping. I got to be tripping. Please. Man, he hit the thing. Everybody, like, he showed up everybody. They was like, yeah, what are they going to do next now? Okay. Now, 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 Sister Khadija, I don't have as many DMX stories as you do, but I did meet him one time. You know what I'm saying? Didn't have a picture, like a genius that I was. Then I get a picture. If I would have had a picture right now, that would have been so. But I was a huge DMX man. Damn, DM, a huge. Awesome. DMX is the reason I ever bought a, a, a pair of Timberlands because of DMX. So you can't. Like, <laughs> I'll holler. It, it, well, it, it was. Story. My sister took the picture of us, and it just gone. She took Damn. the picture. Her phone was broken. She was like, "I gotta hurry up and get rid of this picture." I was like, "I right, will email it to me." And um, well. This just disappeared out of my emails because uh you know how you don't check the emails for a while. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. But okay. uh, that was that. All right, and Andrea and, and Andrea Hall says DMX with the hands. Naima says we already know since Khadija. Naima says number one, <laughs> TI trap music. Naima, I really was this, real close to putting uh trap music on my list. I used to say thriller, hands Ooh. down. And then Sister Rakia says peace coming, peace reels with Rukia. Make sure everybody show her love on YouTube. All right, here we go. Um, Marvin, what's your number one? Let's hear it. Number one sophomore album of all time. So I know he had, he had like three albums, but like I don't count Section 80 because that was like an underground album. To That's Pimp a Butterfly is the great, it's almost the greatest album of all time. You could argue it's the great, greatest album of all time. And I don't even really like the music, but I'm I'm arguing for hip hop. Like if we talking about the technicalities of hip hop and what it means to be artistic and to express it through what hip hop is, like that's what that's what it is. So that's why that's the only reason I couldn't put late registration there. Like late registration was there, and then to put butterfly, butterfly came out, and I'm like, damn, bro, this is otherworldly for real. 
otherworldly. So basically what you're saying is you're, you all are just picking albums that are behind me and are like, we're going to make this the thing. All right, I get it. I got it. I got it. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> word, word, word. Uh, Sister Rakia says, say that, Marvin. All right, here we go. So everybody's showing love to Kendrick Lamar. All right, let's go. Uh, Sister Mariah, what you got? Number one sophomore album of all time. So despite the way that you think I feel about her, I do believe in giving credit where credit is due. B, we're going to be our say? And going with the song list, just how I was feeling in 2006, I had to give it to Beyonce B Day. Look at you, okay. <laughs> okay, look. Y'all like, I'm about to bring y'all so to the queen. <laughs> Sister Mariah, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was like, Joshua, okay, calm you know. down. I know, just, it. I, I know. It. My wife, I, she deserves her flowers. Nobody gives her credit to me. This is the kid said when we were talking about my list. She was like, you know, brother Josh was gonna have Beyonce on his list. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, that's exactly. Like, like, like I just forced her on the list. Like I mean, she happens to be a musician. She knows. You know. All right, uh, Selena, what you got? Number one. All right, number one, I have. You know, you already know. I was raised off of his music all my life. My mama's his biggest fan all day. So it's Michael Jackson's Thriller, baby. So I had to. You see, now okay, you see why okay. I had to replace the breezy. Simple <laughs> as that. <laughs> you can't argue Thriller. You can't argue Thriller. You can't argue Thriller. <laughs> Look, Thriller. Aisha said A.T. Elliott. That's a good one, Aisha. I ain't thinking about A.T. Elliott. That's a good one. And so the Candace, once again, I can't see what she's saying. But I know she's she saying said wife, question mark. <laughs> oh, wife, um, <laughs> day, whatever y'all. Oh, <laughs> supposed to be new here, like J and B. Like she mentions me in all her songs. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, are you the J with the? I am absolutely the J. What are we talking about? Like, duh, like, have y'all been missing this for all these years? She been saying this every day. You know, it went right over my head. It went over your head, like, like my god, right over our head. Nobody knew. Wow. I used to my way. Mimi, me, 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 uh, Naima said her earlier. Mimi said that was a little Aisha. That's a good one. Up my way. All right, let's go. My number one. Um, there's no album, no album in the history of music, but especially rap music. Is equally, I don't care what y'all say. Goes by the name of Marshall Mathers LP. Lived up to it. Had Stan. Had I am whatever you say I am on there. Kill you like like. Listen, go back and listen to Eminem's Marshall Mathers LP if y'all want to hear a complete album from beginning to end. It's just a masterpiece. Dr. Dre at his best. Eminem, Marshall Mathers. That is okay. a good one. I did live up to the hype. Okay, look, look at Okay, so Kadija gave me the East Coast hip hop approval. The Philly uh, <laughs> streets of PA approval. Okay. Look, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to hate. I mean, I'm not an M fan. We know this. Yes, I'm familiar with your hate. <laughs> oh, my God. But, you know, it fit, it's, it's fitting. That was a good one. I looked at it and I was like, nah, I don't need to put this on the list. <laughs> God, you are going to do it. <laughs> Why do I need to do it too? <laughs> I'm falling. You are such a hater. Such a hater. All right, so <laughs> next we do a top five Fresh Prince um, episodes of all time. I look forward to seeing how, um, because my sister name is a big fan of Bel Air, so it's like Fresh Prince is all, you know, nostalgic and all that kind of stuff. So I want to see what you all thought. Okay, I don't know if you got to see more. All right, then we got Marvin and then Sister Khadija. All right, Sister Mariah, what you got for number five? Okay, I don't know what season some of these are, but I know what they were about. So my number five was when Tevin Campbell came to sing to Ashley mm. and take her on a date. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, Tevin was like that guy who didn't want him at their birthday party. <laughs> hey, wait, now wait, but now now Susan I Mariah. saw a team about Tevin Ke Campbell earlier, and I was talking about it. Like I saw you share it, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta go back and see it. Oh, Marvin, God, Marvin. I saw you share it, Marvin. I'm, I'm just saying, man, if you pay attention, for real. I ain't mad Listen. at him. I don't got no hate at all, but it's just it's true if you if you think about it. Okay, well, listen, but I have a question. Sister, Mar uh, Sister Mariah, are you mean to tell me for your birthday, you will want a surprise visit from Tevin Campbell so you can sing? I was going to sing happy birthday to you, but y'all didn't kill my whole spirit about me singing today. So it doesn't even matter, but yes, yeah, so Tevin not, Campbell. You sound just like him. Exactly. You think, thank you. That's all I'm, all I'm saying. Uh, you got to sing his best song because that's, that's, a, that's a hit hit. Yes. Okay. Naima says Bel Air is good if I give it a chance. Naima, I'm giving you credit for your Bel Air love. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not, <laughs> it's on the list. It's on the list. Oh, All right. Uh, let's go. Um, Salima, number five. What you got? Fresh Prince. Uh, um, 
Let me see. On my I'm gonna say this is before your time, so you gotta, you gotta ask. Is, <laughs> shut up. Anyway, I have the one. Oh, the mistaken identity. Like when they got pulled over and had to, went to jail and all that type of stuff. And yeah. Uncle Bill had to I'm come sorry. and bring be his lawyer self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that one. Right there. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, look at you. you right, everybody coming to you. Talk about another song. Word, <laughs> word. And I'm telling everybody right now, this is the last 90 show we're doing top five episodes for. So after this. Everybody just start watching 2000 shows. I'm just letting everybody know. All right, here we go. Marvin, what you got? Number five. Let's get out of the way, Josh. I apologize, but we're gonna do this quickly. Will's <laughs> dad, when he when when he came, I mean he came and left and he was crying. I think I think I'm America my list. I think America was okay, crying with Will that day because I showed was in the field like bro, why, why he yes. <laughs> yes, definitely on the list. No, no, he seemed like a good kid to me, bro. <laughs> Marvin, that's pretty low. I thought everybody was going to head it higher than this, but okay. But I want to get it out the way, everybody. I don't want to be cliche. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. friend told on Facebook. Boy, y'all get so old. Okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, so, can you and Marvin, can y'all just keep y'all, uh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Sister Khadija, what you got for number five? Oh, well, I try to keep all mine funny. I want to try and do all the little mushy, all the little sobby stuff, but um, I have, this one cracked me up because <laughs> uh, Will was hilarious in it. Um, they called it "Did the Earth Move for You?" Uh, when <laughs> when Gina was falling apart in the basement. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I thought about that one, but I thought... now, <laughs> I... yeah, that's right. I couldn't even think oh, about what was going on until you started yeah, to then, describe I'm like, it. Where did she go? <laughs> <laughs> wait, Sister Khadija, wait, who, what's going on? So you saying it was a Martin crossover where Gina was on? No, okay. I don't remember her name on the show. But what's her name? Tashin? No, not Arnold. She uh, played Kathleen in that episode. Kathleen. And it was in a, a, they got stuck in the basement and an earthquake happened. And all her fake stuff started coming off her nails, her mm. hair. I think she had, what she had, eyelashes too or something. <laughs> and then when I did, when they, when they came to get her, get them out, she was like, what happened to Kathleen? And she was like, I'm right here. Mm. <laughs> and Will start singing the song about her. <laughs> yeah, it was the it was the start of the black the the downfall of the black woman and all these lashes and all this <laughs> madness. Okay, uh, wait. So wait, so Khadija, you saying that Will Smith was sitting in the basement playing with a tricycle girl getting on his nerves? Is that what you saying? <laughs> yes. Is that what you saying? Is that what y'all saying? All right, I, just, I want to be clear about which episode you're referring to. Uh, uh, yep, Naima it. says uh, the family uh, ski vacation with all the aunties was there. I'm assuming that's the one where they find that out was a good that, one. that, that was she was dating a, good a one. white man. It was so bad. It was like what the, the white colonizer. <laughs> they got robbed. And they got robbed. <laughs> <robbed. laughs> mm-hmm. When the colonizer came on Fresh Prince, it was taking them down. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what was going on. Well, it was the white guy that robbed them, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Susan Khadija, for your history. Hey, look. <laughs> All right. My number five is the proposal episode. Where um, you know Hillary Banks was gonna, was getting proposed to, and he said, you know, will you marry me? And then you know, he died. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's flat looking boy. But yes, you know, wait, wait. Uh, Josh, Trevor, I thought you don't like sad stuff. That's supposed to be sad. <laughs> but, but, it's, so, but, I'm about to say, it's so sad that that's so funny. But I was like, no, oh. I don't know what you're gonna say. Like I didn't really. I was like, whatever. No, it just I think so everybody's so face was the same it when so it happened. Nobody expected it. Yeah, and it shows how bad we are as humans that we all think it's really funny that he... I remember being like... <laughs> you don't want to laugh, but come on, man. It's hilarious. They oh made it funny. They were, it was like, it was like a message episode. It was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I think what made it funny was Hillary not catching it right when it happened. And she was like, will you what? Will you what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, look, okay, see, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew my audience. I knew Fresh okay. Prince. Fresh Prince episodes gonna bring all y'all in. All right, let's go. Number four. All right, uh, so Brian, what you got for number four? Fresh Prince episodes. Um, I have to go back and look at what Marvin had posted. <laughs> Um, my number four was that episode that the Kids just mentioned. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so with the Gina crossover, but her, as Kathleen. Got it it yeah. wasn't really a crossover though. Oh, so just Tisha Campbell coming being a guest star, Kathleen. Yeah, yeah, those that show, I think those shows during that time, there was so much like star power in those shows. It wasn't a crossover though. Like she was just a totally separate person. Totally separate person. Got it. Got it. just like when Urkel was on there, 
And he was a separate person, but he wasn't like Urkel. He was like, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Yeah, he was something else. <laughs> just because you just thank you for saying Urkel was something else. All right. Uh, <laughs> Salima, what you got for number four? Uh, my number four, I shouldn't be looking at this ahead of time, but oh, it's the one when uh, it's called 72 Hours when uh, what's the face called him trying to be gangster or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's low, <laughs> that's low, yeah, that's, that's like the first season. <laughs> that's low. It's like, no, it's not. No, it's I got the other ones that I really like, so yeah, you know, that's, that's, real low. that's extremely low. That's okay, low, <laughs> it is, though, ain't it? It's we go, we, me and Marvin was like, whoa. Right. Oh, At the same time, time I, I like, second guess on. myself. I, I really what? did. I did second guess myself with that. You guys might be right. You might be okay. right. All right. Uh, okay. We right. We right this time for sure. I even said, I even said that would always be funny. Um, and she said, that's a good one, Sister Salima. All right, boom. Here we go. All right. Next, we got Marvin. What you got, number four? Uh, I don't know what was going on in the episode, but I just remember Jazz being in court and, and, they was trying to read him his rights and said, Jazz, you can put your hands down. He say, uh-uh. <laughs> he got a gun. If I put my hands down, he's going to put 20. He says, I don't know if it was six or 20. He's going to put 20 in my back. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Whatever was going on. I just remember that whole episode. I was crying that whole episode. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I, I didn't think about that, Marvin. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Uh, <laughs> Rabia says, peace, family. I don't know any of these episodes. Boom. It's all good, Rabia. We're gonna keep you know what I'm saying. We're gonna we're gonna keep you up. Also, I saw Rabia in Chicago. Shout out to Rabia when I did see her. I didn't we didn't get a chance to talk, but we said, you know, I said, hey. All right, let's go. Um, next we got Sister Khadija. What you got? Number four. For number four, they called it Banks Shot. That was a really good one when Uncle Phil beat the man in the pool game. That was mm-hmm. I got I got that on my list too. So you saying when he, when, he when he brought out Lucille? That's what you saying. We yeah. Lucille. Okay. 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 <laughs> that's that a good man, one. That man was. See, crazy. I want y'all. I want y'all to remember all of this when y'all attack me for the office and stuff like that. I want y'all to remember that <laughs> I did. I did. Y'all see, I came Black History Month ish around time period. <laughs> <and I just laughs> gave- <laughs> it's not our fault. The the office is <laughs> trash. I'm just trying to show y'all. Like, listen, I'm just giving y'all a listen. All right, I'm my number four this, is when. Off. Another cameo when Kim Fields from uh, 2D or Living Single, whatever y'all know her from, but when she came on and Will Smith was being smooth and he put pretty brown eyes on and he did the clap and he put his leg behind her behind her on the couch and he was like, pretty brown eyes. Y'all remember that? Will Smith yeah, being smooth? That was what? too much. Marvin, I'm, I'm making that my couple tonight, Marvin. I'm making that, I'm putting that post in that tonight so you can see it. Uh, yeah, you I know see. you. How you be fine? I just want to say that Josh sung again, y'all. Just <laughs> to keep that out. <laughs> Marvin, when I tell you I was so influenced by TV and movies, every like I was like, if I could find it, no girls that I talked to didn't like that song. But if I could, I would have put that music. I want to be just like Will Smith when I was like, oh girl, let me show you something. Woo, what you know about the kids? You know who's saying that though, right? Because when I mentioned that singer before on top five, you tried to roast me. So you know who you was just singing of. Yeah, Stokely. I'm a man with Stokely, but nobody knew him. Right. Nobody knows him. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mariah, Call I them never, <laughs> I never played that song for a girl because they never liked it. It never would have hit. It was just like, what? What is he playing? Like, what is going on? <laughs> All right, number three. What you got, Sister Mariah? So I do have an honorable mention. Okay. But okay, so my my answer answer. Oh no no never mind. My honorable mention is number two. So my number three was when they switched out to Aunt Viv, like nobody was going to notice. And like the whole episode, <laughs> they were making mm. reference to how different she looked. <laughs> mm. That's my number three. Oh my number gosh, three. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this this is by this time, the, the baby's already in the, tr- the stroller and all of that. Is the baby here yet or no? I think, I think the second Aunt Viv, wasn't she pregnant at some point? I don't know. I just know when they had the baby. I don't know if that's on any of y'all list, but when they was doing uh, "Let It Snow" and they had the Christmas episode, like you know, what I'm saying that those are pretty good episodes too. Yeah, I like that one though, cause I I feel like a lot of shows will switch people and not acknowledge it or say anything or characters disappear like that girl did in Family Matters. So I like the fact that they acknowledged it. Acknowledged it. Okay, so the Candace, I saw you. I saw this one that said you was just typing that sister. But then your, then your messages, whatever you typing back, just went back down again. God, Rabia said she didn't even know that was me. Once again, Rabia, you know, 
Then he said Fresh Prince is an all-time show or favorite show. Then the reboot. Naima said Stokely. And then Naima and me and you are going to argue about Bel Air in the comments. Boom. I already know how it goes. All right, let's go. Uh, Salima, what you got? Number three. Okay, I have the client. And it's strictly only because of that dance scene when him and Carlton was dancing behind Ashley and she was singing. <laughs> that is literally my favorite scene. Like, I could watch that scene like over and over and over again on repeat because that part had me hollering. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all. So, that's why that I, I, gotta, I gotta look that up. I'm not familiar with this episode. I gotta look it up. You just yes, you do know that episode. That's the one when, um, when Ashley was singing and him and Carlton was dancing behind her. Like he was trying to help her with her singing career, remember? No, it's not ringing a bell. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take I, yeah, yeah, when you see it, it when you gonna see it, you gonna be like, oh, because I'm like I'm vaguely he, picturing it, but I could, like because she's describing. You know, he was hit. He was hitting it. He yeah. was hitting it. Yeah. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna Any, do it. it. Hey, anytime <laughs> Will got around Ashley and he was showing her dance moves, it went up. That's it what went, I'm saying. Like, dude, her Y'all remember yeah. when? Yeah, when they was in the room with the drum, boy, they was getting it cracking. That's what I'm saying. In fact, that should have made my list, low key. Really should have, just for that scene right there. All right, here we go. Thank. Okay, so so Will Smith and them being background dancers. I'm gonna take some Lena's word for it. Marvin, what you got for number three? Okay, it's the snow trip when uh when uh Carlton and Will get stuck uh at and at the end they get stuck by caught by the avalanche. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, like they, like somebody come to help them finally, and they yell, and he telling them don't yell, and he like what? And he steady yelling, he like don't yell, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then so you know they, they jump off the, they gotta jump and, and, and fight the avalanche, and you know Will just stumbling it, and Carlton smiling, skiing <laughs> on hard. Oh Why? my god! I was, it was probably the hardest I ever laughed at a TV show. I could, I could just picture how hard I was laughing at that one moment. <laughs> so that's why I had to make my list. That's okay, okay. That's why I like doing these shows because I don't remember the, the. That's why I'm thinking. I'm telling you, just find that clip of, of Carlton and the Avalanche while Will struggling, like falling off through it. Carlton, <laughs> you know, Carlton is cultured as can be, so he's just hitting the slopes casually. Okay, Naima said she. Uh, she remembers that um, she forgot about the episode, but she said the one where Ashley stuffed her bra, which is the one where Lorenz Tate was on. I didn't make my list, but Lorenz Tate was on there, and they said, "Let's hear it for the East German team." Lorenz Tate liked um, Ashley, and, they, and then the East German girl pushed him in the hallway. I used to, like, I used to watch the episode a lot of times. Oh, yeah, I remember Lorenz Tate being on there. Yeah. 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 Before, before he was Councilman Tate. Now y'all don't take him serious no more as an actor. They got just first to <laughs> Councilman Tate true. off power. I'm like, damn, that's how y'all do, my man. Uh, all right, so Khadija, what you got? Number three. Number three, I have. Oh, they titled it "Viva Lost Wages." When okay. uh, when uh, Carlton and Will went to Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Will, <laughs> and Carlton turned into another person. He had a gambling problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> they had to do that dance and all that. Stuff. Uh, done. Classic episode. Classic. Classic. Episode. Anything about that? Anything about that? Also, I'm surprised none of y'all said the one where um where um Carlton fell in love with the grown woman. Y'all ain't like that one. I I really wanted to put that I on there. That, like, that, that was real good. I, that was a really good episode. That woman was he so fine. Him, man, that was horrible. That woman was so <laughs> fine. That woman was so fine. I said, yeah. Yeah, I she had all it. that long, pretty hair and that beautiful. And he was just like. <laughs> that was horrible. All right, here we go. My number three, I'm going with um, Belle Bib DeVoe. Um, come when they rented out the house and they and they had the party, and the parents went away and they came in and they kept having the party stop and all of that. Like, I just remember that when I saw it on TV and was like, oh, That's hey, the Belle Bib DeVoe people dancing in the, in the thing. <laughs> Belle Bib DeVoe people. <laughs> I'm just saying that was that. Like, I just thought that was so cool. That I didn't. I, that's my first time knowing that people rented out houses for video. I ain't know about none of that. <laughs> Yeah, like, hey, hey, Carlton came out and busting the move for real. For real. <laughs> he was not playing that day. I'm like, I, I didn't know like that that was the thing until that until that time happened. Until that happened. All right, bro. <laughs> hey, we funny. we did we didn't appreciate his dancing at the time enough. We didn't. Hey, and we still don't appreciate Carlton. Everybody just wants to make it seem like he's not cookout enough acceptable. <laughs> but, but Alfonso Ribeiro is a phenomenal actor. Like he's a talent. Yeah. Like, he's a like he can act. You know what I'm saying? Dance and all that. He's good. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, and thanks to everybody who's watching. Naina said that's a classic one. 
and then her and Mariah are talking, and then she forgot about that one. All right, let's go. Number two, what you got, Sister Mariah? My number two, um, okay, so my answer answer is when Carlton and Will prank Jeffrey to think that he won the lottery. And he <laughs> doing like oh, <laughs> okay. I felt so bad when they told him that it was like a prank, and I felt because he was so ashamed of all the stuff that he's done. Break and when stuff. he was jumping on the couch, and he's like, "I quit." I quit. <laughs> and then my honorable mention is when Will was teaching Ashley. I think it was like either how to fight or how to be like intimidating or something. And he was like, mind your business. That's all. Just mind your business. Mind. <laughs> just mind your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a good one, Samara. Okay, so Samara, about, see, this is, this is your time period, Samara. So I, think it's going, I knew this was going to be a little right. bit. See, it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have been no office without all of these shows. Thank you for comparing that. But speaking Tell of that. again. So, so Khadija. <laughs> If it, was, if it wasn't for no I Love Lucy, it wouldn't have been all of these shows. All right, so give that some credit. Yeah, I, I love I love credit. All right, but no, listen, do y'all, but do y'all watch The Office? Has anybody watched The Office on here? I have. I mean. Seen it. I, I can't. No, I'm not seeing I, it I like that. It. But it's. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's true. I, need, I, need, like I need to try to watch it, though. I'm going to try. So you say, do we watch it like current? Like, we'll try, you know right. It's like, we'll try. Like, present. <laughs> Like you I can show it. me somebody, and I know that they're from the office, probably. My God, <laughs> <laughs> by nobody. Every season, every episode. Like I'm, I have. Hey, I have. I, I'm so glad that we all united in this, and Josh got to be by himself for the one time. Um, y'all to watch the office, yes. and we all like. Uh, and you know how many but times he's asking? Like, he's this trying to put this in the top five. What's going on here? Like, right. I'm like, y'all can't stop me. It's coming. Y'all can't stop. Cat, cat, cat. Dunmore says, "Good one." That is first time asking this. <laughs> and she says, "She, cat Dunmore loves the Office." Thank you, if cat Dunmore. You don't have to love an office. See, that's all I'm saying. We got to get the office. <laughs> all right, let's go. Number two, what you got, Salima? Um, my number two is, it is the boys in the woods. That's what it's called when they went on a camping trip with Uncle Phil. Okay. Like, and the thing is, the thing is, like, I can't even give y'all the details. But I remember this one when I was younger, watching this one, and I always like wanted to go camping just because I'm like, what is it if it's really like that? So I can't even give all the details, but I love camping episodes of any show. Any show that does camping, I love it. So that's one of my, that's why it's number two, just because what? it's so dear. Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> I can't even give you all the details, like I promise you, but I know I remember this episode. I just remember. It's like dear to me. <laughs> that's where they had to, um, wasn't it like cold? And the only option to keep warm, I think Uncle Phil said they had to burn the money. Like they had oh, found yeah. some money or something. Yes, and they had to burn the money. A lot of it. And then at the end, they were like, I think they found out the money was like a prize and like a scavenger hunt or something. Yes. And they were like, man, like we burned all that money. And Will came like with all that money stuffed in. <laughs> you know what it's I, but this, once again, I don't, I don't know none of these episodes. Look at me, look at me. Like, start, I, like, I remember as they're describing it, I started to remember. I'm crying. Like, That's, I don't, I don't remember this thank episode. you, sis, for that. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. Man. Let's go. Marvin, what you got? Number two. Number two, I got the pool hall episode. You can't go wrong with the pool hall episode. You can't go wrong with the pool hall episode. Uh yeah, I used to hustle people. My, my favorite he part. Just sounds so dry. My, my just... favorite. My my favorite part of the pool hall episode is when he, when they walking out and and we'll clear the door, but then come back and say yeah. <laughs> 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 they they were about to get on his ass again. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm hollering. Also, I used to hustle people for basketball. If Mar- if Marvin would have played <clears throat> me, he would have got a crossover too for sure. For the record. People was like, I don't know how good Josh was. And next thing you know, I'm Steph Curry in the pot. I'm Michael Jordan, I'm Allen Iverson, I'm KG, I'm, I'm everybody. I'm Giannis. That's what I'm saying. All of those great players. I'm Shaq, all in one person. That's what I'm saying. All right, boom. All right, next we got uh, Sister Khadija. What you got for number two? For number two, I have, oh, it's called the mother, mother of all battles. When Ashley had that bully, when, uh, <laughs> when the parents uh-huh. came over, and the mom uh-huh. was like, and they was like, oh, she saw him. And the mom was like, oh, I, I think we need a second opinion. And she was like, oh, are those words too big for you? And then <laughs> Uncle Phil was like, yes. 
just calm down, just calm down. So then he was like, you know what? Your daughter is, uh, he called her something. And he's like, well, I think your daughter fits the, the bill of a criminal. He was like, right mm-hmm. down to the slope forehead. <laughs> I sure you remember that one. No, no, I think you have a confused with your mama. <laughs> he cracked her. That was the alpha. I said, you got to mention that's the best part of the whole episode. That was the, whole, that was the best part. And the host, the whole episode hey. was funny because you had, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Carlton talking about something. She's still messing with you? I just paid her my, uh, I just paid her all. <laughs> he, he, Ashley was like, yeah, but the check bounced. <laughs> oh my god! My episode word for word, she's gonna be like, "What is happening hey, right now?" I, I definitely remember. Hey, I oh, definitely remember the words. Episode. I think it got me confused with your mama. Because, <laughs> because right behind that came the meanest right hook you ever seen. And hey. we'll catch you, man. That man was to one. <laughs> Listen, um, it really makes me mad that my sisters. And, and and they think that our family, even though I'm really um, uh, the Fresh Prince, my sisters always think that they're Ashley and Hillary, so that I'm somehow Carlton. And that's not the case at all. Like, clearly, <laughs> it is. Clearly, yes. Like, it what are y'all saying? That's Wait, so you bear accurate. With it, you get a little too carried away with the agreement <laughs> uh, now. What's going on? Uh, Mimi said, Salima, please keep your eyes open. She said, you what? must park. She said, keep your eyes yes. open. You must be parked because what is going on? Like, I am. I'm most definitely on the road. I'm definitely <laughs> parked right now. <laughs> okay, good. All right, let's go. Um, next we got, oh, my number two is when I, now the only time I ever like act like Carlton was on my one and two. My, my one and two is where I actually act like Carlton. But when Vivica Fox was on there, I absolutely was like Carlton. Carlton kept <laughs> Vivica Fox in line. He said, I think you, you owe him an apology. I think you will be a rude. <laughs> I think you guys got remember that way when Vivica Fox came on there. Yes, I yes. definitely know that one. Because yeah. Vivica Fox was, was trying to like be mean to Will Smith. He's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> I love that. Episode. So, you're doing a lot oh. right now. I'm like, that's right, Carlton. Let her know. No, <laughs> but you could, Joshua, you could never, though. Oh, I could never. Right. See what I'm saying? <laughs> let me be Vivica Fox and let her try me like that. I said, Vivica Fox, you meant to say, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, Car- Carlton had a lot of the moments, like when they when he was trying to get uh into that fraternity, and they said he wasn't black enough. He treated yeah, exactly, the whole exactly. he he treated the whole fraternity, and then walked out. They're like, damn. That, and I bet you, Khadija agreed with the fraternity people because she was always mean to the Carltons. Thank you. Never <laughs> have I ever. <laughs> Naima so said, "It's nothing wrong with Carlton." Naima, please. And Mimi said she was she was concerned about Selena. Okay, Mimi, Selena's okay. And I Naima appreciate said, it, sis. Naima said that's a good one, uh, one of her favorite episodes. I mean, okay, everybody loves Carlton. Y'all love to mock Carlton. That's what it really is. Number one, let's get into <laughs> it. Uh, Sister Mariah, what you got? So my number one is probably like a serious one, but I think there was an episode where like Will and Carlton maybe had got stopped. And... I think Carlton thought they got stopped because they were going too slow or somebody was driving too slow, but Will understood that they got stopped because they were black and like the kind of party or something. And I felt like for me, that was Carlton understanding that even though you're what you think is like a certain type or whatever, that you're really no different than Will or Mm -hmm. anybody else that looks like you. Hey, that's that's powerful because yeah. black people, as much as we have a rational fear of the police, we have an irrational fear of the police. And, and a, an Arabian friend of mine told me this, and it made me be- a lot more comfortable with, with police. You are one of everybody that's outside. The police are not paying attention to you. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do on the road and you're not causing attention to yourself, you should have no worries and you should have no issues with the police. And that's real. Say that. Mm, I don't really trust that one. That might not be in Pensacola, We're gonna start no debate. No, no, seriously. I, I, I got pulled over. The, that's for the right, black psyche, car, though. That's that's stuff. mainly for the black psyche, though. <laughs> not for anything but our psyche, because otherwise, you riding around and you uh, illegitimately you. worried about the police when they not worried about. So it. just or, say no. All you say is do what you need to do on the road so they won't worry about you as much because <laughs> listen to me watch, watch, watch this, Marvin. Salima, how many times have you been police police and pulled you over and kicked you out the car how many times is a black woman well kick me out the car they ain't kick me out the car but i got pulled over like, unjustly for being black i'm just what i'm trying to tell you i did i think we all have <laughs> that's what i'm saying every nope at one point my my sister used to pick me up 
She used to make me walk to Chester just to go meet her because she, when you come through this neighborhood, they'd be like, oh no, I don't know. My brother, he was living here with me. He might not like me telling y'all this, but I'm gonna tell y'all this. They gave this boy a ticket once a month. <laughs> My sister, oh. he should stop. She got a ticket like five times. I said, what you doing? She was like, the speed limit was 15. I was doing 17. She just stopped coming to get me. So, uh, yeah, I guess it kind of depends on where you at. Where you at, all right. Well, Sister, Sister Mariah, uh, Mrs. Mariah, thank you for, for, for making the show instead of being comical, <laughs> woke, and like, you know what I'm saying? Make us think about the, the impression of the day. I, I, like, I can when I can. can. But yes, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Guess, guess, guess what? That's not. Guess what show that doesn't happen on the office. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Balance. Because everybody's that. white anyway. We, we <laughs> need. We need. We need. The office is for. I mean, Sister Khadija, by God. Yes, there are a whole bunch of black people in the office. By the way, Idris Elba has a, is is like a does a great job on the office too. I think y'all the sisters are like. No, everybody has a cameo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Salima, what's your number one? Oh, my number one, I want to get the exact name it is. Um, Papa got a brand new excuse. That's what it's called. That one when his dad came. The only reason why is because it really did. That acting and that scene really touched me, like, for real. Like, I used to watch it and be like, am I crying? Like, am I crying? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, that's why. I told you, didn't I tell you? I, I told y'all America was crying. We all was. Everybody yeah. was don't lie. There ain't no way you could watch it and not just be like, you know. No, okay. facts though, like facts for real. So, like I said, that was, that's why that one made that one. I, I, I think that's one I, of those I, I, episodes I, where I can't remember seeing Batman play in like anything else, but I think if anybody see him, we would automatically be like, "That was real, Dad." <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I know we'll him. Like, him. Like, what is going on? No, and I know he's been in a lot of stuff, but she's right. I, the only thing I remember him as—that's as <laughs> what Batman. you remember him by. I know I'm that's real, Dad, and you ain't show up for him. Exactly, <laughs> real, Dad. And now we hate like, you for the rest of your life. Your, your actual who? life too. Yo, like he's like in like how I met your mother. Like he's in a whole bunch of stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. he'll always be. I love that. Like that <laughs> because I'm just saying, like, why we always got to sing somebody? Oh, that's a nigga who's, who who made Will Smith. Cry. Like, <laughs> hey, it's I, like I, it's I, like in Low Down Dirty Shame how Jada was acting in Low Down Dirty Shame. <laughs> no, I'm not familiar with Selena with Low Down Dirty Shame and how Jada Pinkett was acting. Mm -hmm. My God, I uh, hate you, Barbara. What you got for number one? The Carlton in the Hood episode. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my number one. When he, <laughs> yes, when he yes, effortlessly yes. swindled the hood, the hoodest people you can find and fit in. And in between, he would talk to Will in his articulate vernacular and pop right back into character. <laughs> oh, bro, are you, you kidding me? Um, <laughs> that was Come on, bro. That was that was facts. Facts. That's definitely facts. Uh, <laughs> And Naima said, I love some low down dirty shame. And I'm flexing. Naima, thank you for that. I'm just not agreeing with Sleeper right now because she just wants to go down that rabbit hole. I'm thank you, like, sis. Like, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sister Khadija, what's your number one? My number one is 72 hours. Carlton survived in the hood. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So y'all all, all going to change y'all number ones because <laughs> we told you from the beginning. We, tried yes. we said, that's Look, low. Me and Josh said that at the exact same time. You did was say when that. he was like, I'm tired. And they grabbed that mattress and he said, Pop. <laughs> he ain't saying get the mattress. So was like, I'm tired. He was like, yo, yo, let him be. Bring, let him be. Don't Dang, I'm mad. And, and, and Sister Khadija, what is funny is one, probably like in the future, I will show tell stories where people were bear witness and be like, oh, Josh did that, but they didn't know that I was doing that. I absolutely would be at the mosque or be somewhere and it'd be like terrified of the, like, the, and I had to get into character because you're like, bro, if we don't act a certain kind of way, we're not going to get up out of here. You got to learn, right. learn, learn, learn how to code switch. Hold up, hold up, what's happening? <laughs> you got to learn how to go switch so, because it's like, I don't want to be like that all the time, but sometimes you got to go to MacArthur Park and you got to be like, this is what it is, this is what it is. <laughs> And Marvin, the basketball court next to MUI is a prime example. Hooping next to MUI at that court, like I'm talking about literally, if it's like, if I if I call a foul, ain't no foul. I'm like, nah, it's gonna Man, be a foul. Because <laughs> they, they'll be like, if you call the foul, they gonna fight you. So I'm like, it's gonna be a foul. You gotta turn into another character because they gonna yeah. be like, we ain't giving you the foul. The ball don't lie. I'm like, mm. the you fact, know, the fact, I'm gonna the tell fact you, that people heard, say that. Just a foul, and that's ain't no foul. I just keep on moving a little bit. <laughs> Somebody finish the same thing. 
hey, hey, that's how you know all telltale sign. If y'all don't play files, okay, if this not my type of play, <laughs> No, facts. I like people who play with files. Like, <laughs> that's a parameter to stop us from getting hurt, you know? Like, like are y'all playing the right way or is this the yeah. way? Clearly, y'all don't right, play the let right me way. know. <laughs> Mimi said, "Thank tonight is such a great show. Thank you all, y'all here. Thank you, Mimi, for trying to close out the show before we finish our last uh, one. All right, now I'm laughing, but I'm telling y'all, MacArthur Park. Say that's 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 probably one of the realest episodes I've ever seen because you gotta know how to go into both care because it's like nah, sometimes where you at, you gotta learn how to code switch. So y'all, so I'm the only person who got a code switch. All right, forget it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm a go that. Um, I'm a I was go on mute. I know how to code switch. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Just play DMX in the back of my head is what it is. It's either DMX or it's like, you know, I don't know, Celine Dion. You just got to switch it back. You are are about to park on Facebook. You always angry and mad at somebody. I'm like, damn. (laughs) Don't listen to him. That's not true. (laughs) There's a reason DMX is a favorite rapper. Right. I'm like, she ready to go all the time. (laughs) All right, so listen. Top five. This is our last uh, last uh, one. Top five athletes turned actors, right? Top five athletes turned actors. Um, Mimi, I gotta see what Mimi said. Mimi just said she doesn't know. She doesn't. She didn't know to hold compliments to the end. No, I'm just saying, Mimi, because you because if you say it, everybody's like, oh. Uh, hey, Salima, I'm about to mute you. All right, let's go. Number <laughs> five, Marvin. What you got? Top five athletes turned actors. Tony Danza, he was a professional fighter. His record was nine and three. Mm, okay. I ain't got now, that for my answer. Now, now, Sister Mariah and Sister Khadija, y'all should appreciate that. Who's the ball? I, I, I that. know I missed that. Can you say it again? I was g- giving the baby up. What happened? To- Tony yeah, Danza man, was man. a professional boxer. <laughs> uh huh. Who was it, Tony? Who were they playing? Tony Danza. Who's the ball, Sister? Uh, oh. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, you know how they doing you? You mean, you mean she about to come? That's okay. I, they know they used to watch that all no. the time. <laughs> no, I know faces. Okay, I know faces. But the Josh always try to stir something. But you, uh, you, you can't tell me that wasn't a time in your life where you were stuck in the house and you weren't watching Who's the Boss. I ain't gonna believe it. You uh, don't be lying. I used to like Tony Dan. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Mimi said she didn't know that, but he looks like a boxer. I mean, exactly. But yeah, if you look at his facial structure, he does have like those that those cheekbone structures, like he been hit in the face, kind of. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, here we go, here we go. Um, all right, let's go. Next, we got Sister Khadija. What you got for number five? Since you're so critical on, on Tony Danza, ain't no, ain't no, stop. Um, okay, now Brother Joshua, no, I didn't agree with this, John, because. I mean, maybe I don't know a lot of athletes turn actors. Perhaps. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> um, but if you turn actor, like, that's what you're doing. These people are not doing it. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I, just, <laughs> I just went ahead and put number five. It's one movie that I know of. I mean, I don't know a whole bunch of movies, but he did an excellent job at it. You forgot he was a basketball player. He was an actor at the moment. Ray Allen. He you did that. He did that. That was, uh, that was awesome. That was stellar. Okay, oh, and, yeah, and, I, and I know I know from Facebook, I, I, I study everybody's social media, by the way. That's what everybody who's on here, I know all your Facebook and I see how with stuff y'all post. I know from Facebook that Marvin is a big fan of Ray Allen. He got game and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, cool. Right, Marvin? Did, did, you, did you make a post about you want people saying you like Ray Allen when you were younger? Where am I tripping? Okay. <laughs> Marvin can't be dealing with talking to somebody. All right, let's hey, go. No, 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 because I was trying to think, but no, no, no. Like, I probably posted a meme because yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> Technically, I'm gonna be real with you. I never saw he got game. I know that's gonna. I, no, I, I mean, know. You, I mean, you ain't you ain't miss nothing, but whatever. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't like but, a legendary. But I movie, hear, bro. I hear that like he had some 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 like you know parts where he was like it, embodying like really what the actor was. But I I can't just see I, if I see Ray Allen, I'm like crazy three balls. I can't. I can't see <laughs> Listen. Uh, yeah, it's a sad movie. It's, a, it's probably one of the saddest movies you're gonna see. Like, it's a, it's a sad movie from beginning to end, but whatever. I All right, agree, let's go. Brother Joshua, I watched it once and that was it. I That's what I'm saying. Like, the dad kills the mom. All gonna, right, gonna, all right. I'm right. just saying, like, it's just like, sorry, it's like a, it's like, why does, like, why do we love trauma movies? I don't know. All right. Um, we got Sister Mariah. What you got? So, okay, let me just ask this first. This counts as like college athletes, too, right? 
I mean, I guess if you lose, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, you're right. I do be like I said what I said. So, I was so about to say, you asking, you asking for a business with some lions and stuff. No, it's not like you. Take that back. It's something it's new. Like <laughs> <laughs> My number five is John Goodman. Okay. I don't care what you say. He oh, don't want it. okay. But what, what I'm saying, what, 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 what was he, he an athlete with? Like, when was he? He athlete? played football for Missouri. I didn't know that about him, but I guess it makes sense because he's big. <laughs> and, and and you're saying this is um the guy from Monsters Inc. The Voice. Yeah, and like okay. Roseanne. Like I feel like I don't feel like he actually gets enough credit because any role that he gets, I've seen him, and I can't remember what the name of the movie was where it was like the end of the world type something thing where he was in like the bunker thing. But I've seen him do like funny stuff. I've seen him do really really serious stuff. But I feel like he probably doesn't get the credit that he should get. Yeah, for range, I totally agree. For range, I agree. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, I mean, the fact that he was singing on Monsters Inc. is like one of my favorite things ever. Because I'm like, yo, that's you know, it's Dan. Right, Monsters Inc. is is like top three uh, Pixar Disney movies all time for real. You like Monsters Inc. Yeah, yeah, nothing if I didn't yeah. have you. <laughs> See, Selena, Selena can't wait to see now. That, that's her. That's her. We do animated stuff. Oh, people. mom. I say it all the time. You know, I know all these movies. Well, it actually came out when I was little. So, technically. Anyway. Okay. Naima said that's a good one, Sister Mariah. And she also <laughs> said, Naima swears she dropping some jewels. She said Denzel Washington's son, John David Washington, was in the NFL. I didn't know that, Naima. Okay. Yeah, he was. Okay, now Selena's choosing. Like, there's no way oh around like, Joshua. Like, there's no way around you. <laughs> you just never satisfied, huh? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, who knew that he was in the NFL? I didn't know he was in the NFL. I never knew he played in the NFL. I did, because I had to Google all of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, next we got uh, <laughs> Salima. What you got for number five? Okay, so my number five is strictly because this is a movie was really good to me when I was a little girl. So, is <laughs> is Michael Jordan... You know he plays in Space Jam. Remember? No, we didn't know. We didn't know that. We didn't remember. <laughs> Nobody know that Michael Jordan played Space Jam. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. Just because how they go so hard on LeBron about his acting job, which it was it was kind of trash. I'm gonna say it was kind of trash. But Michael Jordan didn't blow me away. Now he did it. He did. He Everybody try to act like he was just like this see, Oscar. Wait before. a second. Wait a second. But wait a second. You got to think about the time when that movie came out. It was okay, but like now, like. Children movies be the actor be on fleek with these children movies nowadays. Like you can't get away with phony <laughs> acting in children movies nowadays. Like you can't. I mean, I'm still probably. No, I think LeBron puts still... it on pretty well. He didn't do bad. He didn't do bad. Oh, so Khadija so has a crush on LeBron. No, <laughs> I, think, I, I think that I one think part. I think he's a crush with Brother Joshua. Hey, I, I think that that one part where he was talking to his son and he messed it up real bad that like killed it for a lot of people. Like. You know, like when you do so bad at one scene, like well, I, I, I just, I just can't it, I'm, I'm just happy to see the brothers, you know, shining in the movie. See, I did that cookout answer. All right, let's go. Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, my, my number my number five, speaking of the brothers, speaking of holding it down, and everybody sister could um uh, sister Mariah talking about the police and killing and everything. OJ Simpson, that's my number five. <laughs> 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 that's right. Absolutely not. Yeah, I gotta defend that. OJ. Is a top, top athlete turned actor. He was Everybody's another, talking about the killer. He said, one, which one? He was, was, OJ was in Roots. Me. He was in Airplane. <laughs> he was in Stop it. I was just saying. <laughs> and he did, the, he did the greatest, <laughs> act, he did the greatest nah. acting job of all time. He acted like he was innocent on that stand. I'm just telling y'all. <laughs> OJ's actors. So, hey, man, you ain't right. never seen nobody act like OJ. OJ, OJ's around right now. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm about to say something that you you're not gonna like. OJ was innocent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's how good of an actor he was. He no, got you, I, girl. Look, the glove didn't you fit. If you listen to the if you listen to the phone conversation, it didn't sound like he did nothing wrong. I'm just saying that. <laughs> look, if you look my look. My dad done broke down. He said, I said, wait a second, he might be. <laughs> Listen, I once again, y'all believe that's why I said he's a great actor. The man I don't believe man, he did it. The man fooled 95% of the black community. And the man did good. He did a good I think job. somebody in his family did it. I don't think he did. 
Look how That's who you that always is. doing that. I gotta Look watch out. Police please. already got caught playing in evidence. If he was guilty, they <laughs> the man went on a road. He, the, a highway police chase in front of the whole country, the whole world. Look at this man in the Bronco. When a guilty Y'all person still... do that in front of the world, I'm just saying. He's a black man running from the cops, having every day, B. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, sis. He okay. was just trying to. He was just trying to. He was just scared. Scared of the police. Hey, no, he 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 had a <laughs> rational fear of the police. That was rational. <laughs> now you said OJ did a job. He Night, look, Night, Night, he's, on my, on, he's on my list. Night, he's my number two, so I can't say it yet. And then Mimi said, OJ definitely did it. Oh, Mimi, Mimi's not <laughs> trying to go to. Sister's not trying to go to a beauty shop uh, this week. They ain't gonna get you. <laughs> All right, number four. What you got, Marvin? Uh, number four, I have Terry Crews. He was drafted in 1991 oh my God. By, by the Los Angeles Rams. I didn't know that. Can't go wrong with Terry Crews. Can't go wrong I with mean, Terry Crews. He went wrong. Okay. Thing, but I could definitely see that. Y'all, y'all, I'm saying y'all, y'all think he did a good job. Everybody hates Chris? I like everybody hates Chris. No, yeah, everybody hates That's Chris. And, yeah. And, uh, the un, the untouchables, un, whatever, untouchables, which was one where all them actors came together and they was like shooting oh, everything. Oh, Expendables. 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 Yeah, he was he was firing Expendables too. I never he saw was it. hilarious but... and white chicks. You know, that was the first thing. True. Hilarious. That is my, uh, that's my hey. Underrated like, line and white please. chicks from Terry Crews. <laughs> you, you know what they say. Once you go black, you're going to need a wheelchair. Uh, I want to, y'all don't understand how I, I'm out here fighting every day to get a budget so that I can put y'all in a movie together. I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm so hard. Like, I'm like, we got all that, we got all the talent on the people's podcast right now to, to run it. Like, we got all we can do. Um, Marlon, why are um, they make it no better when they was at that dinner table? Okay. <laughs> Man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, apparently, apparently we need to do a top five white chicks a moment. That's what we need to do over here. Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. Man. Your mama. God. Oh, my <laughs> That'd be I'm about That'd... to have a hey, It's so many moments. <laughs> we'll have a show. We will have a show, bro. <laughs> like, oh, my God. You know, no, it, you said it. <laughs> hey, we, we wouldn't make it through. Our stomach could be in knots. I can see it already. <laughs> Oh my god! I always do that whole movie. But <laughs> y'all know the whole movie of white chicks. But if I mention the all, so we. I don't watch it. I don't watch it. Okay, so this, <laughs> y'all, this Joshua. This Joshua. Oh, we want to talk about the office. <laughs> oh, Salim was on a roll today. Okay, Salim was on a roll today. Oh, okay. Oh, that was I so love funny. That. I'm gonna write a letter. <laughs> Hey, so since Khadija ready with the whole movie on deck. That's what I'm saying. She literally knows the whole movie. Like, what do you think? And DMX wasn't even in it. My God. Okay, and then are we about to go to Sister? Uh, she got it. Know, she got it. We about to go to Mariah. But then Mimi said that OJ wrote a book. Uh, he didn't do it, but if he did, this is how he would or something like that. Yes, Mimi, yes, I'm familiar with the wow. book. All right, let's go. Sister Mariah, what you got? Number four. My number four is another heavy hitter, Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, I didn't know that. What 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 are you playing? I mean, what he what, what's the score? football for Harvard? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I never pictured Tommy Lee Jones playing football. Like I would have never. Who knew? Yeah. Google All right, that. Wait, Sister Khadija, I didn't skip you, did I? For number four. Wait, right? I did not say four yet. Okay, what's your number four? Okay, DMX, keep it cool. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, you know, these emotions are always going to... I, I don't have what to say I anything earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to say anything because we just spent like an extensive amount of time on them, but my number four is also Terry Crews. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mimi, uh, Naima said, y'all are uh, uncensored tonight, and Mimi said, white chicks is classic. <laughs> Apparently we doing the top five white chicks moments next week because I can't I gotta I gotta rewatch the movie. Apparently I, 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 I'm tripping. It's on me. I'm tripping for not knowing. Yes, there's so many always. moments. In that movie. Always. Think about this, y'all. The, the black people are saying I'm not keeping it real enough because I don't know about white chicks. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so funny to me. Like you don't know white chicks, but the white chicks. Know white is, chicks. Hey, but the exactly. white chicks is two niggas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> with the plot of white chicks. I've seen the movie. My God. Wait, this is the last part. When they was dancing and they was... Right, the whole dance scene. Oh, my God. Uh, yes. 
Um, oh, um, I just would have never, I would have never knew that the White Chicks was your favorite movie, Morris Bond. Like, nobody could ever believe <laughs> White Chicks was Sukadeja's favorite movie. All right, so Lima, what you got? Number four. Okay. <laughs> Almost forgot what we was talking about. <laughs> well, athletes turn actors. Lima. I got it, I got it. <laughs> I just said almost. Okay, Shaquille O'Neal. He be in okay. all the commercials and everything. Now. <laughs> and he played that genie. Oh, uh, you both. Okay, I'm about to say, Shaq uh-uh. was doing a lot of movies. Uh-uh, we not going to get it. Would you, would, I want you to name one of these movies. I want you to name one of these movies so I can, so I can flame it, because I know all his movies. <laughs> he was in Shazam. He was in Shazam. Yeah, yeah that's all she said, Shazam. <laughs> Girl, all knock right, it off. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. Know. you was gonna come for my head. You say more than what you say. Look, look at my lips. Y'all, y'all gotta give Shaq credit. Shaq had a run for Brother. the kids. She says, Shazam. Oh, run up, run up well, too, Marvin. Run so up you too. might as well, y'all might as well say, Man is still too. That's what we do it today. We're doing that. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do it today. Lips, but that's okay. what we do it today. I know. He was in Grown Ups. He was in a Robocop movie. Or whatever. Hey, I love him in Grown Ups. Yes. But calm down. Funny, like, relax. relax. I'm so relax. disappointed in y'all today for vouching for Shaq as a as an athlete. I'm actor not. Actor. It's not. It's, I thought it would be nice. Not I'm, gonna be, look, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not letting nice. y'all get away with that one. Not today. Because no, no. The reason. Oh, listen. But no, for real, for real. My first two. The reason why I said those two and strictly is because it's athletes that should have never became actors. Like Shaquille was like, "What are you no. doing acting? Like this series. That's how I feel about it." But he became an actor. Like he literally be active for real. Mimi, so you gotta Mimi, give it Mimi to said, him. Mimi said Shaq is on TV every week. I mean, that's, Shaq. that's what I'm and, saying. And that's what y'all I mean, white chicks, no, no, Mimi said white chicks <laughs> on TV every week. White chicks is on oh, TV. Oh, yeah. All right, listen, my number four is, this is, um, I'm sure some Mariah and Khadija appreciate it, but Jim Brown. Jim Brown's not only my favorite running back, but he was also, a, you know, a badass black actor, you know, first black yeah. you see where Raquel Welsh from, camera and all that. Hey. Oh, he was like a which- well, I know I'm gonna get you sucker. Mars attacks. What else? The dirty, the dirty dozens, and he was the first person to ever have an interracial like love scene. He was the first black. The date, no black man was. And that makes you, know, you right think man. I was gonna? You said I thought that was your topic. I thought y'all loved Jim Brown. Like I thought he was like the thing. Like <laughs> y'all not like Jim Brown? Brown. Not with them white I don't women. know how old you think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Joshua <laughs> know better. <laughs> He know better. Listen, Jim Brown was that dude and is that dude, but Jim Brown is like he's just cool. He's my favorite uh, mm. running back. That's why I know all this stuff. All right, number three, what you got, Marvin? I got Jim Brown, and he was a whole goat. And I'm gonna get you something. <laughs> uh, uh, no, Jim, Jim Brown is like he was the he was the glue that kept everything together, and I'm gonna get you something. Bro, look up, look, look, look up him and uh, the, uh, the dirty dozen. He was like a bad. He was, he was like the Rock and all of that. Like, but serious, not being like a joke though. Like he was like people were scared of like Jim Brown. Like, bro, he was, yeah, like, his his aura. He stepped in the room and said, "Step to the side." Yeah, it's like, like, come on, yes, man. sir, yes, sir. Like Since somebody you, else, you'd be like, "Man, you step to the side." Jim Brown, you'd be like, <laughs> Jim Brown, you'd be like, "Yeah, yes, sir." Yes, sir. Yeah, Sister Khadija, what you got for number three? Number three, I have oh, uh, I have three um three. I have Fred Williamson. Three, to, he he's in a uh, three the hard way. Yeah, and, he's gonna get you sucker and all that stuff too. Yeah, I got See, him. That's your time period, is getting, but you like Joshua knows better, but you love them seventies. That man, he's in the same time. He's in the same time period as your. Guess brother. what? Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? You go. He is one of these. Many athletes that turn actors. Most of them ain't turn actors. They was in a flick, <laughs> in yes, a flick yes. or a commercial. All right, Sister Mariah, what you got? Number three. Okay, so I had to change my number three right before we had started because at first I had Burt Reynolds because my grandma used to love him, but okay. then I changed it to John Washington. Oh, Denzel Washington's on. Yeah, and fun fact. When he when his dad was playing Malcolm X, John Washington was one of the students. I don't know if we said that earlier, but he was one of the children in the class. Oh, okay. So, so, so what you're saying is you want to do it for the brother, man. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Goodbye, Joshua. I got it. I got it. <laughs> he took Bert Reynolds out for John Washington. Like that isn't like it's just because like I just had. To I did. It. I feel like John Washington has come out with a bang. Like. 
he's done a really good body of work. It's good. Really, really, because I don't know who that is. <laughs> what he played? Stop well, he playing. was in Black Klansman. Okay. Um, he was in that movie with Zendaya. I can't remember uh, something in Marie. Hey, yeah, okay. I got to go back to my list, though. I'm glad you said that, though, because I I want to see that. You said Black Klansman. Like, yeah, he was in Black Klansman, and that was based on a true story. Was that good? Yeah. I was wondering if it would actually be good. Was it good? I mean, it was, you know. Uh-oh, tough critics. There you go. <laughs> no, I mean... Hey, this is why I love Sister Mariah. She is going to tell the truth. <laughs> she could not lie. She said, oh, yeah. Because I know that it's based on a true story, it's like, I mean, if that's what the story was, then he did what he was supposed to do. Gotcha. I thought it was the funniest part for me was where the the clan was asking him like a series of questions to determine whether he was black or not. And they were asking him to say certain stuff. And one of the things that they said was for him to say the letter R because they knew that black people say Aura. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is kind of this is like this and white chicks is what I'm dealing with, but y'all don't watch the office. But you gotta you tell me say R because black people can't say R. I thought it was so funny. I, I don't know one black person that said R. Let it go, y'all. So, like I'm I'm a little offended that they that they did that because I like I didn't even think about that. Black people are the only where do we even get that from, Ara? I don't know, but it made me crack up because I'm from Alabama, so I have I I know I got family that says it that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know people that say it that way, but just to hear that that was what they were basing it off of, it was just it cracked yes. me up. That's got to be a southern <laughs> thing. Yeah, thank you, some Sister Khadija. Don't come down for the south. Just be. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all let you take the whole sound. And you want to know what the funny thing is? I used to be if 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 we was fighting in North against South, I used to be in the North, but I traded. I I hate the North now with the Southern folks. I swear. I love you from the South. I trade the side. Wait, uh, Mimi Mimi said she um she agrees with Mariah. He was in that football show with the Rock. That was a really good show. The sisters are supporting uh, Denzel Washington's son. I think it's because they think he's handsome. All right, Salima, what he you got? Such a good range. Oh, you guys a good range, huh? All right, so Salima, what you got for number three? Y'all can hear me? Y'all hear me? Yes, we can yeah, now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, I have, um, what's his name? Dave Batista. You okay. know? Dude Real who quick. played Jax. And, um, and he played in a zombie movie. Dave Batista, he was a wrestler? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know he, who Batista is. He played I just Jax didn't know in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that's oh, right. Okay. He, okay, yeah, that's right. And he's funny as hell, too. Okay. Okay. He I didn't is, know. Right? <laughs> and he was in that zombie movie. That was zombie movies on Netflix. It's, hella, it's really good. Like, it's really good. Okay. The whole action pack scene was dope. So, so, yeah. Salima keeping us up with the yeah, good. So he, I, I didn't know he was a wrestler. I didn't know that. Sister Salima, you better have one more wrestler on your list. I know that. Okay, listen. Listen, I'll let Marvin and uh, Salima talk about their wrestling matches later. My number three is John Cena, okay? Oh, John Cena. Yeah. If y'all, there's a TV Salima. show right now that's called Peacemaker. It is one of the best shows on television right now. Peace Peacemaker. Maker. Yes. And, and by the way, for all of, Viola Davis' daughter is the main girl. And Viola Davis, the sister, is running this, the, the secret place. Of the, she's the head of the Suicide Squad. And, they, and she's giving them all of the messages and all. I just, I wasn't, I was pleasantly surprised that I would like the show called Peacemaker. And it introduced me to John Cena as an actor and he and he killed the role. He killed his role. Like he's, he did a real good job. All right, John Cena, Peacemaker. It's on HBO Max. All right, number two, what you got, Marvin? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, can you Arnold Schwarzenegger? That's on my list, yes. Yeah, look at y'all, okay? I see y'all matching, I see y'all. <laughs> anyway, yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. Right, Marvin, Marvin what, what did Arnold Schwarzenegger play though? Is you saying like what, what was his? What, what was his, you know? I know he's some of my favorite movies are weird. Was like Eraser. I don't know if y'all. No, no, not his movies. movies. I'm saying what? What was like? How was he an he, athlete? Wait, he listed weights. He was a world class yeah, bodybuilder. Okay. World right, class. I, I, yes. I didn't know if he played. I didn't know if he was a boxer or he was a good football. I just know he was whoa. I didn't know. Come on was. now. Look, I he, was, he, did he, he was such a good bodybuilder, they let him act. He couldn't even speak English, bro. 
Mm. Right? That's the that's why he's all that's why he's my number two. That's exactly why he's my number two. Okay. Yeah. Well, we know who your number one is, the one you keep matching with. Now listen, since Khadija, what you got for number two? <laughs> Number two, I have Chuck Norris. Okay, what did Chuck right. Norris do? Okay, he was was he's karate dude, martial arts. Karate, okay, okay, okay. Martial- I, just, I, I thought you were about to surprise me. Like Chuck Norris used to play basketball in school. I don't know what, what was going on. Right? You didn't think nobody was going to say that about Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that Tommy Lee Jones played football at Harvard. Like uh, I, was- I don't know, man. <laughs> Chuck Norris got an uh, impeccable rap, bro, because they say they mm-hmm. swear that man can fight a bear and kill him. I swear. Listen, listen I know yeah. Chuck Norris can fight too. Make workout videos or something. Look how you look how you reduce Chuck Norris to some ride. Look how you. I didn't put look. He he did the tape. <laughs> I'm telling y'all that man, yeah. Texas Ranger, Texas Walker Ranger. When y'all see that man with that coming at, and he's arresting somebody, you know you know he means business. Texas it's Walker still, Ranger. Come on. Yeah. All right, sister, um, sister Mariah, what you got for number two? My number two is another heavy hitter, Forrest Whitaker. Okay. What if Forrest Whitaker did? First of all, I don't sound surprised that he did. <laughs> I, I'm like, no, no, I'm just like, I didn't know he was an athlete. I mean, what, what, like, what, what, was, what was he an athlete? He played football for California. Is it Poly? Polytech? Yes. Okay. He I, didn't, I, never, I didn't know Forrest. I know, I know he played Mad Dog. So he definitely could be angry. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know Forrest Whitaker was a, like out here knocking people out, but I can see that. All right, you can't go wrong with Forrest Whitaker. Salima, what you got, number two? I already told you. No, you did I'm number two. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, you matched with Marvin. Okay, my bad. Yeah. All, right. All right, so, so Marvin and Salima had the same. <laughs> my, my number two is Rick Fox. I even said it earlier, but you can't go wrong with Rick Fox. She I, she said the game. First of all, Rick Fox was also in another movie that, that Sam movie we mentioned earlier, recruiting at um, Tech U on um, He Got Game. But he was in Oz. I don't know if y'all have seen Oz, but Rick Fox did a great job in Oz. So I always sound like he's kids. reading cue cards. Y'all mad at Rick Fox because he can't yeah. I ain't no. mad, but uh, he can't sound like that. What was his, <laughs> um, what was his, uh, uh, he played for the Lakers. He was a basketball player. He played for the Lakers. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just remember whenever I saw Rick Fox acting, I'm like, yeah, he doing an okay job. I used to remember saying that. He doing this. <laughs> That's it. If y'all watch, and, and he played on that show, that Oprah show, uh, the, with the Greenleaf. He, Rick Fox played on Greenleaf, too. Yeah. Okay, so y'all hate Rick Fox, but y'all only get a black man credit. Let me get it straight. Oh, Denzel Washington son played the one thing, and y'all uh, worship man. Rick Fox gonna play the eight things. Y'all like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you say Rick Fox is the. No, actor. I agree with that. I, I wish I would have recalled that. I would have put. Well, Joshua on. act like we gotta support their crossover and careers. Man. <laughs> man. Mimi said, Mimi said Peekaboo baby. She said y'all got y'all don't see the baby playing Peekaboo. So, uh, <laughs> I see the baby playing with y'all. I didn't see the baby, baby. My God. All right, let's go. Number was one. over here like this. <laughs> I totally missed it. I didn't see her. Listen, I'm over here trying to manage this stuff. All right, here we go. Last one. Number one. What you got, Marvin, for number one athlete turn actor? It should be everybody's number one, and it's The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Mm, mm. Period. Okay. There we can't. Okay, all right, Marvin. Okay. If he's not. One, then what are we talking about? Like Brother Josh would say, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? That's all I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. All right. Okay. And listen, yeah. honorable mention, since y'all didn't do your honorable mention yet, y'all know Muhammad Ali did play himself in a movie called The Greatest. I ain't surprised nobody said Muhammad Ali, but he did play himself. Stop. You know. Y'all, <laughs> y'all mad at him. He gave you that look. Y'all like, I don't know what you must have been trash. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna let you finish what you said. Hey, <laughs> since the Khadija ain't never gave that look, so I'm gonna believe that I'm look. Like, Damn, y'all that uh, <laughs> the greatest? All right. We just like, counting everything now. Okay. <laughs> he did a I'm whole hollering. movie. Movie with Chris, I mean, with uh, Michael Irvin and all of them. I'm surprised nobody said that. And um, the Adam Sandler movie with Stone Cold, with Stone Cold was racist. Y'all know that movie I'm talking about? Yeah, it was the longest yard. Yeah, the longest yard. That was good. That was good. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Since Khadija, what's your number one then? Since you hate Muhammad Ali being a great. <laughs> <laughs> 
me say that. I just gave a look. But anyway, I agree 100% with Marvin. The Rock, nobody, no athlete, I don't think, has gotten to The Rock's level with, with, with the acting at all. He's not yeah. more, he, he more gross than an uh, actor in Hollywood, period. All right, Sister Medina, I mean, Sister Mariah, what you got? Um, I agree with him. I got The Rock as number one. Okay, look at everybody coming through with the. Uh, that's we gonna see if Selena gonna throw it off. I feel like you are gonna be different, brother Joshua. <laughs> you know, already um, know Joshua's but this could be like the first time us. that the top five all got the same this, number yeah, one. Same one. No, Listen, I, I would I would say the greatest athlete of all time, and everybody according to everybody loves Muhammad Ali so much, but y'all y'all get mad at me. All right, uh, <laughs> Selena, what you got for number one? I already said it. When Marvin said it, I said it. Oh, y'all say y'all, y'all say y'all say y'all say so much together, it'd be throwing me off. Like y'all jump y'all, y'all back like it's like anyway, it's back. yes, it's Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne, yeah. oh you, you you went to school with him, Dwayne. So now we waiting Dwayne. on you, brother Joshua. Listen, my number one <laughs> y'all went to school with him. It's it's the rock, you know what I'm saying? The rock. What are we talking about? Okay. This might be a no, no, no. <laughs> there was one other time I remember, and of course, it was my favorite rapper. There was one other time we had all the same mess, and it was Kanye for best producer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, 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 look at the Khadija. Like, what about Swiss Beats? Because he did all DMX stuff. So I don't know. <laughs> First of all, he didn't do all DMX stuff. Okay, okay. Well, most of the DMX stuff. Most of the, the good DMX stuff. All right. Everybody's laughing. Not even uh-huh. good. Uh-huh. All good. Uh-huh. <laughs> I heard that. Everybody's laughing. Boom. And shout out to uh, Sukadija's baby. has been rocking with us the whole night. All right. Selena, right. Can, you, can you say goodbye to everybody? I can't wait to put this on YouTube. <laughs> Ay, salam alaikum, family. Peace and blessings to everyone. Love. Goodbye. Put it out there. a rapper. If y'all didn't know, Marvin produces most of her uh, stuff. But where, 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 where are you, Salima? <laughs> she she anyway, <laughs> Supreme Lean. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube. They took me off of Instagram because you know your girl be speaking the truth, but Twitter as well. So yeah, go follow your girl Supreme Lean all day. They banning you out here. You getting banned with parental advice? Yes, because you know I'm talking that black truth, black power okay. all day. Oh, you know why? Yes. Don't, don't, try get, don't try to get the people podcast taken down because you got banned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got going on your Instagram. <laughs> don't try to come over here with that. Oh, <laughs> look, you gonna get yourself taken down, Josh. <laughs> don't try to get your own down. Get my sponsorship taken down. Nah, we straight. I don't know what the green moon took about. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, uh, Sister Mariah, keep this taken about everybody, please. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very stay much. Stay safe. Uh, stay safe. Thank you, Sister Mariah. Sister Mariah just gives random. Stay safe. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, I love it. COVID I love it. Yes, it's still COVID. Yes, it's. Mm-hmm. Wash your hands and so, wear your mask. Listen, y'all just using all the buzzwords to try to get my show taken down. Like, nope, nope. <laughs> 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 Sister Khadija, can you please say goodbye to everybody, please? Oh, goodness. Peace, family. It is always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having my girls. Next time. Thank yes. you. Oh. All right, Marvin, give us a word so we can get up out of here. Uh, I was watching an interview with Michael, Michael, my, I mean Mike Tyson and Shannon Sharp, and he's and Mike Tyson said that some of his biggest flaws made him a great fighter. Um, and I think for humans, I think if we we realize that we're flawed, we're a lot better off in life because uh, it'll help you understand yourself, and it'll, it'll also help you understand other people. If you could, you know, start putting your, yourself in other people's shoes, I think we'll all be a lot better off. So understanding that flaws aren't always bad, especially if you're working to get them to get better at them. And I think that'll help you understand other people as well, knowing that we're flawed beings. If you know that we're flawed, then it's easier to understand your, your neighbor who is flawed, just as you try to understand yourself and why you're flawed. Go ahead, Mario. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Damn. I mean, so, so Selima just put all the hearts in the comments. Damn, Selima, like, wow. his name before that she touched my heart. Look, yes. She said, touched my heart. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it ready to G on the people's podcast tonight before, before she's giving her heart away. Thank everybody who's watching. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off for the people's podcast. Mimi said, keep your head up. Peace. Um, and everybody showing love in the comments. And, and, like um, and subscribe. Naima said, Fikes. I mean, fa- Fikes. Facts, Marvin. Boom. All right, boom. All right, here we go. Thank you all for watching this. Joshua and Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Just like that.